poor one. Nice little par four, if I do say so myself. 315 yards, slight dog leg to the left. Airway is absolutely money. Five wood in hand to start things off. A little bit fat, but it's down there. Yeah, that is about two inches behind the ball, but <laughs> it's on the fairway. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I'm complaining about. Still went about 220, 230 yards, so no complaints from me. About 97 in. It's not quite a full sand wedge. So I'm just gonna try and focus on contact here. It's lovely. Go. Lovely kick right. How is that for a start? We've got maybe 10, 15 feet. <laughs> what a strike, come on! Oh, I tell you what, it's good to be back on the golf course. The game is trending in the right direction and all I want to do is just come back out here. I mean, we can't ask for much more than this, can we? Up the hill, right to left. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll figure out the pace, we'll figure out the pace thing, not to worry. It's a good putt. That's a good putt. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I absolutely love it when the start of a video is on flames. Par on the first. So hole two, par five, long old boy. Today playing about four, nine, five. So bunkers guarding the fairway. So we're just gonna aim slightly left of those and cross our fingers with this one. Five wood in hand. Tell you what, a little double cross, but yeah, it's lovely down there. We'll take that. Come on the five wood. You'll notice the five wood coming out off the tee. Um, going forward rather than the four hybrid and, and the irons. I've managed to find some relative, <laughs> I say this, I say this very tentatively, some relative uh, consistency of the tee. And all I've done to change what used to be a massive hook miss is I'd probably do three quarters, maybe half a backswing with the five wood. And I'm still getting similar yardage, just to be honest. I don't absolutely nuke it. But from a consistency perspective, the ball goes so, so much straighter. So, yeah, let's see how it works out. Right, so we found the left rough. We've got 285 still in, so I'm going to lay up with a six iron. Sit down before the bunker. Sit down now. That's a golf shot. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're still on the fairway. Right, we've got, left ourselves about 114 in, so yeah, didn't quite get to the 100 mark. It's a nice gap wedge number, so no complaints. It's not gonna have enough. Yeah, just came up short. Lovely connection though. So we kind of just skirted off the false front here. Quite a lot of green to work with. I'm gonna take 54. I tell you what, not horrendous. Not horrendous, we've got to put for par. Right. <laughs> now that I'm stood here, um, feels like we could have snuck in a little bit closer to make this put a lot easier, but here we go. Get in the hole. Woohoo! Okay, won't complain too much. Will not complain at all. Bogey on the scorecard. Par bogey start. Not too shabby, not too shabby. On to the third. Hole number three, par four. Hardest hole on the course. Terrifying tee shot. Um, really blocked out. Suits the fade, I can't hit a fade. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Five wood in hand. I'm hoping to just launch this enough to get, get over these bushes. And that is gone. Clear the bunker. Left rough, yep. 
I will take that on this tee shot. I will take it. So left rough. <laughs> we like a left rough off a tee shot actually. Um, but it travelled, believe it or not. We've got 165 into wind uphill. I'd rather be short than long on this hole. So seven iron in hand it is. Pulled it left. It's all right there, it's just not ideal. Yeah, looks like we're chipping on. Looks like we're chipping on. Right, we finished up next to some mole hills. Sat down a little bit, but quite a clean line to the flag. Oh. <laughs> so after showing you exactly what not to do, I'm gonna try and right my wrong here doing the same thing oh dear i'm trying to figure out chipping with the 54 <laughs> moving away from my comfort of the pitching wedge and it's not not paying me any uh, results just yet I'm turning into a horror show now for the bogey yep get me off this hole Welcome to bogey golf. Come on, confident stroke now. Oh, had the line. Triple, triple. You've seen me do worse. We move. Right, hole number four, long par three. Today playing 193 yards. I think we've got wind off the left. I'm not going to hit four hybrid because I think that will be long, so it's a five iron today. Just need to swing it well. No, that's going to be, be short of the bunker. Okay, a little bit toey, not the best strike. When you've got the chip in yips, this is the last shot you want to be hitting. actually very nice oh that's a beauty absolutely gorgeous come on little sniff little sniff at a par put here i had it swinging way more wonder why it went dead straight anyway here we go for the bogey Yeah, good putt, good bogey. Yeah, listen, we'll take the positives from that. That chip approach is what we need to bank, what we need to bank in the memory, come on. Right, hole number five, short par four. Unless you're hitting driver and going for the green, it's all lay up, a lay up all day long. So I've got six iron in hand, shouldn't really reach the bunkers, but a perfect lay up number if we catch it clean here. Oh my god. Sorry T Box. Um, it genuinely hurts my soul when I swing that badly. So we're going so smooth all the way until that point. Not where we want it to be. I said it's a short par four. We've now made it absolutely disastrous. 195 to the green. We've got wind helping, so club down six iron and just hope and pray we miss the bunkers. Missed right. To be honest, I don't mind missing there if it means we're not in the bunkers. Yeah, out of the rough, we'll take it. Just a quick message to all you guys. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I need to pick the golf back up, but I'll just ask a very quick favor if you haven't already, and if you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button down below to help me along my journey appreciate it that's all i'm going to say let's see what we can do here you can't help but feel like this is a huge huge moment in the round here <laughs> over bunkers oh i was just about to say that's unreal <laughs> all right we are scrambling people And that is dead. We're dropping. Right, we'll take a drop. We'll take a drop here. Let's. Oh my goodness. 
Let's see if we can stop the bleeding that might not be in camera shot. Adjust the camera for this one. It's a pitching wedge back up there. And this is now for our sixth stroke. Get on the green. All right, we're putting. All right, let's see if we can stop the bleeding here. Right to left. That couldn't have been any further <laughs> from the centre of the club face. And that is a quad. Oh, you hate to see it. And I blame the tee shot. I blame the tee shot for that one. Right, hole number six, another short par four. Dog leg to the left, water comes into play on the right before the green. Couple of fairway bunkers, but nothing major to worry about here. It's another five wood off the tee for me. And that is absolutely perfect. Little draw on it. Beautiful. Might just caught the left rough, but that is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Position A. Absolutely perfect tee shot there. We've got 115 in, wind helping. It's another gap wedge. Come on. Oh, that is on the pin. Oh my God, get in the hole. Golf shot, come on. Have I told you I love my gap wedge? Obsessed with it, obsessed. Come on, we've got to put for birdie. It's not often the ball actually is closer than you think. We must have nearly holed out because I ran past the flag. <laughs> and there we are. I don't see a lot. I do not see a lot in this. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. Welcome to bogey golf. If this isn't high handicap golf, I don't know what is. Quadruple bogey followed by some birdie sauce. <laughs> Come on. All right, the short par four train continues. And you might be wondering, why are all the par fours so short on this course? Well, the par fours might be short, but the par threes make up for it. <laughs> I'll say that. So here we go. Seven iron layup, purely because I like the sound of a gap wedge approach again. So come on. Oh dear. Toey? Yep. <laughs> Toey. All right, I could have definitely done with being a lot more left. The pin is actually blocked out by the tree, but the left edge of the green isn't. Bit of a decision to make here. I'm going to hit nine and play the number and just hope it's a nice straight one or a little cut back onto the green. If we get in those bunkers, we get in those bunkers. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's worth, worth the gamble here. Nine, nine in hand. Yeah, a little bit left. I think that shouldn't be in too bad a position. We might just have to chip over a bunker, but yeah. If nothing else, the ball striking is pretty, pretty sweet. The golf gods heard our prayers. Bunker, bunker. We managed to evade them both somehow. So yeah, no complaints from me. Nice little chip here. Oh, that kick was nasty. Oh, I think that would have been money. Would have been money, but we're putting. Outside chance at par here. I've had this put on this course a lot. And what I do know is it swings right to left. So you can't, you almost can't start this high enough. Oh. I thought it was gonna be way short, but that's actually not a bad putt. And yes, I am gonna take my time with this. Comfortable bogey putt here. Listen, we can't ask for much more than that. Bogey golf is always the target. Listen, if we can erase the quad 
and the triple from our mind and build on the golf we're playing now, which is quite steady by my standards, then we're on to a winner. So come on, on to hole eight. 190 yards into the wind. So it's a five, five iron. I need to fall in love with this club. Come on, confident swing. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Hold the green, hold the green. <sighs> I think it might be on the back. What a shot. We always talk about that one moment, that one swing, that one shot that keeps you coming back. Well, there it is. 191 yards into wind, five iron, and it's on the green. Green in reg from 190 yards is enormous, enormous for me. So listen, we've got to celebrate the small victories. Not only did we hold the green, we're pin high. One of my best ever tee shots, to be honest, on this hole. So, come on, let's capitalise. Left to right. Oh, that's a bad putt. Awful putt. I've left myself about seven feet back the other way. Oh, Dennis. Not an easy putt at all. Right to left. Over the first time, under the second. But we golf, on to the next. Right, hole number nine, par five. Nice, long and straight. Um, just how we like them, <laughs> do we? Who knows? I've said it now, right, five wood in hand. Oh, he's topped one. We would do a bad one, we would do a bad one, let's be honest. At least it's straight. All right, okay. In the rough here, no complaints on the lie. Just need a good four hybrid here. Need to send a nice straight bullet down there. Oh my goodness. I've just shanked a hybrid, oh my God. <laughs> oh dear. That was, uh, yeah, no comment, we move. Right, we found our ball. We're just gonna have to pitch out from here. Yep, we're out. We're on the fairway. Right, let's see if we can find the center of the club face this time. Better. She's down there, bouncing. Yep, you can get up and down from there. 118 to the middle, wind helping. Ball slightly below feet. So allow for the fade. Come on, that wedge in hand. Oh, I've pushed it like crazy. Yeah, it held the bank. Right, and that was for our five, so. We'll have to get up and down, <laughs> up and down for the seven, which to be honest, I would snap anyone's arm off for. So come on, a bit of a sticky lie here, uphill like crazy. So align the shoulders, I believe is the advice and hit upwards. I mean, it's on there. Yeah, we're putting, we're putting. Absolute monster for double bogey now. Oh dear. Howling wind into as well. I mean, the put never stood a chance, but the wind must have held it up a feet or two. Right. Good roll. If I keep having holes like this, the handicap is going nowhere fast. Right, and that is the front nine done. We make the turn now. I'll drop this scorecard right here. Um, a, <laughs> a very, very up and down nine holes, um, to say the least. So a lot of positives to take from those front nine, but there's a lot of negatives we need to cut out. Come on, big back nine coming up. Swing is still feeling good. 
just no more stupid mistakes. All right, hole number 10, and she's a beauty, let me tell you. Long par four, always a challenge to get there in two, but we love a challenge. We love a challenge on this channel. So here we go, five wood. Yep. That's massive. A1, come on, that could be the best tee shot yet. That is as good as I can hit a five wood. It was almost too good. It was almost dead. <laughs> if it wasn't into wind, we might be uh, in a world of trouble. 160 out now, into wind still, so I'm gonna hit a seven and just hope that it can ride the wind. Come on, need a good connection. Oh, that is beautiful. Just a little bit left. Ah, greenside bunker. Beautiful strike though, beautiful. We're in the sexy back nine bunkers here. We're gonna erase the bunker shot from the front nine. 58 degree in hand here. Only just, but we're putting. We're putting, come on. Big putt for par here. Right to left. Oh, looks like we're losing that putting touch. Oh dear. Not as much finesse about our putting stroke right now. So we've given ourselves a bit of work here for the bogey. Absolutely hate to see it. And that's a double on the scorecard. Not exactly how I wanted to start the back nine. Right, hole 11, par five. Kind of snakes to the right and then the fairway sort of comes back around to the left. Um, I'm hitting five wood. Just right of that bunker is, is money. Yeah, little draw down there, not the biggest, a little bit out of the toe, but yeah, come on. All right, I think I said that was, <laughs> wasn't the biggest. That was an absolute rocket. Way down there, we've got 230 to the flag. Um, we've got about 190 to the water, so I'm gonna hit an eight for the layup here. Come on. Oh, it's a bit left. Sit down now, sit down now. Okay, got away with it. That could have been horrible. I'm not even sure what happened there. Yeah, divot is slightly pulley, slightly pulley, but we're down there. We've got a nice yardage in, just hitting out the rough here. I've got a sandwich in my hand, can just about see the flag. It's left. I think we've just missed the green, but it should be safe. It's nice and safe down there. All right, I couldn't have been any more wrong. I mean, I'm sure we'd have missed the green, but we must have kicked, we must have taken a hard kick right. Anyway, pitching from the back, pitching wedge in hand. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. We've got to put for par. Right, hole 12, par three, playing long today. 195 yards, we've got wind sort of coming off what feels like the right here. I'm gonna hit a five iron again. Needs to be a good one. It's thin, go. 
Yeah, that won't be too far off the left edge. Come on. Didn't miss the green by much, so no complaints. Another pea wedge, come on. Cut the grass. Yeah, probably a yard or so short, but it is what it is. We're putting for par. It's playing left to right. Weak, 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 weak. Big put for bogey. Right edge, don't think too much about it. Good part, come on, come on. Let's keep the bogey train rolling. On to the next. Hole 13, short par four, dog leg to the left, taking four hybrid take that water guard in the green out of play hopefully yeah that's tiny <laughs> but it's on the fairway longer approach than we wanted we've got one one five eight into wind a touch I'm gonna go for the seven iron Oh, Dennis, 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 Dennis. Absolutely disgusting. Let's try and repair that the best we can. Sorry, fairway, once again. Right, we've got about 110 in now. This is gonna have to get close if we wanna, if we wanna leave here with anything. Good strike, it's gonna to have to kick right. Oh, and it has. Yeah, that's a solid swing there. Yeah, that felt absolutely lovely. Probably pin high, and we're putting from the left edge. Good strike. And let's discover that inner putting maestro is in there somewhere. Left to right, down the hill. Pushed it a touch, but not awful for pace. Left ourselves about two, three feet for bogey. And would it say stress free? I think it's gonna break right to left a touch. Good pace. And another good bogey putt. Listen, I'll take two putts all day long. Shame about that. Shame about that seven iron, but yeah. Bogey train continues on to the next. By the way, I am aware that a lot of my content at the moment is just me and the camera. So yeah, stay tuned. We have got plans of getting some subscriber matches on the go and some collaborations with hopefully some golfers that you recognize in the YouTube, in the YouTube space. So um, yeah, stay tuned for those. But yeah, for now, thank you guys for showing love on, on these rounds and it's just me, me, you and the camera. So yeah, really appreciate it. All right, hole 14. Dog leg to the right, couple of fairway bunkers to be to be aware of, but other than that, fairly fairly straightforward hole if you don't screw the tee shot up. So that's what we're gonna try and do here. Five wood in hand. That is high. A little bit skied, but line into the green, but a long one. <laughs> <laughs> Longer approach than we wanted, but an approach nonetheless. Out the rough, nice lie, 170 yards, seven iron. I don't mind being short and pitching on. Oh, so toey. Just stay out the bunker, please, please. Oh, yeah, in the bunker. I mean, we don't deserve more than that. Out the toe. But it's the way the cookie crumbles. Every, every round it seems to be a different club not working and a different club working, but no complaints. The scorecard isn't horrendous so far. All right, more bunker fun. 58 degree, sand them ball. Oh, 
<laughs> seems to be the same thing every time. I'm out, but I'm only just on the green. Out in one. Out in one is, is the order of the day every time. Uphill and not too much else, I don't think. I'm going to go straight at it. And it's probably going to swing like crazy, knowing my luck. Here we go. That was a bad putt, bad putt. Giving myself far too much work for the bogey here. Right to left, trust the line. Just put a good roll on it. Oh, what a putt. Nearly missed it on the low side, trusted the line. Good pace, come on, come on. There's positives in there, two putt gang. Right, hole 15, par three. Playing about 158 yards. Pin looks at the back. You could argue it's a seven, but we don't want to be long. And we've got a bit of, wind, bit of wind helping as well. So eight iron is the, the weapon of choice here. It's a good strike. A little bit fat, but yeah. Front edge, front edge of the green, we're putting. Right, couldn't be any longer this putt. So, a wise man once told me, if you can't read it from this far, just go straight at it. So, that's what I'm gonna do, all about speed. Bit too much? Yeah, way too much. Big putt for par down the hill. Eee! It's a tough putt, this one, very tough. Come on, doesn't need much. Down the hill, let gravity do the work. That's a good putt. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, enormous two putt and an even bigger par, wow. What a great read, by the way, huge read. Hole 16, par five, big dog leg left. It's almost a 90 degree turn, fairway bunkers, all the way down, so this hole is asking a lot. So we're just gonna manage our expectations accordingly. Five wood in hand. <sighs> that is a rocket. Could have done with a bit of a draw on it, but yeah, absolutely fine down there. That was crunched. Come on. Full hybrid in hand. Got 290 to the flag, so this is just a layup shot. Oh, I got the shanks or something. I think that's the second shank, third shank today. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shanked my full hybrid in, un <laughs> in one round. I've managed to do it twice. After gaining about 60 yards, I've still got about 230 to the middle here. This now needs to be a good four hybrid. Oh no, sit down. Sit down. Oh, that might be lost. That one might be lost. We have been granted a lifeline by the grace of the almighty golf god, whoever that is. 70 yards, 54, three quarter swing, come on. Hit the flag. Oh my God, that's so bad. So bad, thinned across the green. We put ourselves in this position. It's up to us to get ourselves out. Come on, little 54, pitch on. Okay, we are, we are capitulating people. Self-sabotage is kicking in. I'm hoping the ball is in shot here. Come on, 54 for our bogey. It's not bad. 
not bad, I'll take it. Damage limitation here. I think this is for our double seven. Came out of the toe, that one. You hate to see it. You hate to see it at the end. Right, here we go. Hole 17. The end is in sight, people. Let's see if we can finish off in relative style here. Five wood in hand. That is down there. I think that's perfection. I think that is perfection. Come on, we needed that. God knows we needed that. Right. Position A, 140 yards out, wind helping. Weapon of choice is pitching wedge. Come on. Go. Oh, beautiful. Stay on. Lovely. Pitching wedge comes out for the first time in the round. Absolutely delivers. Pin high, I think, just pulled it. Pulled it here. Tricky, tricky put down the hill. Down the hill and I think, I think it might pay right to left. Line wasn't a million miles off, you know. Wasn't a million miles off at all. And this is a fairly straightforward put. The wind might move it a touch. Come on. <laughs> and that is what you call a professional par, ladies and gentlemen. You know I'm improving at golf when I'm not shouting and screaming after getting a par. <laughs> That's when you know the levels are increasing, when I'm not celebrating like a madman for securing a par. But listen, that's still enormous for me. <sighs> Come on, one more hole to go. Thank you guys for watching. The real ones who are still watching, shout out to you. Hole 18, it's a beauty. Come on, let's see what I can do. So here we go, hole 18. Probably the nicest hole on the course. It's either this or 10. Stunning. Par four, longish one, so needs a good t-shirt if I want to get there in two. Five wood in hand. Need another straight bomb. Oh, duck hook left. Oh dear, that's in the fescue, that's in the fescue. Right, so, <laughs> the state of play, ball's in there, and we are royally blocked out, so there's only one way I can go here. Don't really have a full swing either, so. Just bump it out. Yeah, it's all we could do, it's all we could do. All right, 200 yards to the green, four hybrid in hand, Let's be honest, we're asking for a miracle here. Far left! Kick back out. All right, we've got a chance. Well, we've got a brilliant approach, but it's taken, <laughs> taken us three shots to get here. So this is for the four. We've got about 90 yards uphill, so it's a 54 degree. Come on. Hold it left, sit down, off the back. Oh, it's getting from bad to worse. You are witnessing a collapse on hole 18 after what has been a steady round. Um, gonna have to do something, something magical now. It's not looking good. Welcome to the show. You are now watching how not to play a par four by Bowie Golf. That was so, so weak. Yep, get those wedges out of my hands, we're putting. All right, this for the double. Let's see if we can knock it close. <laughs> no, okay. And this is where I just start rushing. Get me off this course. For the triple. Right to left. 
didn't move and we knock it in for a quadruple on the end oh i love golf i love golf so 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 much <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Apologies for that ending, but listen, this is golf. 18 holes, and I lost my head on the last, so it is what it is. And we close out with a 99. It's nice to be in double digits again. Um, it wasn't long ago that I couldn't break 100, so 99, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching.